are getting some snow today, which makes me want to cook and bake and be cozy. So I've got the cooking part taken care of. I've got some delicious beef stew on the stove that is going to be so amazing when I come in from shoveling. Now I want to bake. What I'm doing today has been brought on by memories of going down to Boston, going right to the North End, and going to Mike's Pastry, purchasing the largest box of cookies, and my favorite cookies of all time from there are their pinoli cookies, or pine nut. Yes, they do belong on cookies, not just in pesto. So I wanted to make some today. I've never made these cookies, and so we're gonna play together, but I will link the recipe and the Instagram account that I found this recipe from uh, down below in the description. Check it out. They look so good, so I'm really hoping that things go well for me today. My oven is preheating to 350 Fahrenheit, and we can get started. I've already plopped some almond paste in my food processor. I think that my food processor is too small, so this will be another adventure, but here goes the rest of the almond paste. I love marzipan so much. It's chewy and sweet and just delicious. Oh, this is not going to work. Let me take some out. Okay, here we go. Getting somewhere. Ooh, this smells so good. If you have a nut allergy, I strongly suggest that you don't make these, but I'll enjoy some for you. Oh, yikes. <laughs> Maybe once I add the sugar in here, it'll go better. Some sugar. This looks so unbelievably bad, but I swear it's only because my food processor is so small. And I'm gonna just pulse this up until hopefully it like resembles sand, like it's just kind of crumbly. I have to do this in batches. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. See, just like crumbly little pieces like that. In this last batch of blitzing up, I'm gonna put a little bit of salt and some lemon zest. The recipe calls for like either lemon or orange. I think both would be really good in here, but lemon is always just like where it's at for me. I really should get a bigger food processor because I have to put eggs in here and I'm worried that it's not really gonna get as smooth as I want it. If I have to mix it into a bowl, we're gonna do some playing around. I think we're gonna try the eggs in batches. This is gonna be a fun experiment for me. The recipe does suggest adding the egg whites in twos, so maybe this could work. So I'm gonna do half of it here. And we're looking for like a nice pasty, sticky consistency. Ooh, which is what I got. That's perfect right there. Yes, I am making such a mess. This better be worth it. I think it will be. It smells really good. I'm gonna give it one last mix around just to combine everything. Time to roll. So I've got a prepared baking dish lined with parchment paper. I've got my little bowl of pinoles, delicious. I've got my batter and I've got like a, my little cookie scoop. This is a two tablespoon measure. Because this is so sticky, I think I'm gonna spray my little scoop here with some nonstick spray just to help ease things along. <laughs> scoop of the cookie mixture. Pop it out. Oh, it's so sticky. Roll in the pine nuts. There's my cookie. <laughs> I feel like this is a little stickier than I want it to be because I did realize that I did not have exactly enough almond paste. So this is gonna be an experiment. I should have just had the recipe, but what are you gonna do? And just keep on doing that until we are full. I'm gonna probably put like six on this pan for now. They probably will spread a little bit. A couple inches apart, you should be good. These are going into my preheated oven for 15 to 17 minutes, but of course check it, just make sure everyone's oven is different. I like to check my stuff a little bit earlier than the suggested time because it runs a little hot sometimes, but you know your oven, so do your thing. These ones just came out of the oven and they are looking real good. They're kind of bigger than I thought they would be, but nice and toasty. The pine nuts toasted up, looking delicious and they smell so good. I'm gonna transfer these to a wire rack. Look at these things. They are scrumptious smelling. I cannot wait to dig into this. Mine are definitely a lot flatter than hers were in her video, but I'm sure that's because my ratios were off, but 
they came out great. Last part of things, powdered sugar. Just like a little dusting on these things, not too much. I don't wanna get them too sweet, but just a little bit. And that's it. Look how pretty they are. If I saw these in the bakery, I would 100% just like buy all of them and just eat them all in a second. <laughs> Now I must try one. This one. Now this one. Oh. Look at the insides of that. So chewy. Those nuts are just everywhere. Mm. They are incredible. I feel like I am at Mike's Pastry. I think that if they were thicker, they would be even better. But they are still so delicious. It tastes exactly like Mike's. Wow, you have got to try these. They are so good. Crunchy on the outside. They've got that chewy interior. Mm, and the flavor is so good. Wow, I'm definitely gonna be making these again. Maybe with a larger food processor. Even though I didn't have a larger food processor, I found a way to make it work. I hope you enjoy.